right, so here is the question. Can I make this overgrown nastiness um, better? And the answer is yes. So I'm taking out everything in here. <clears throat> Going back with some pine straw and then I'll decide what to put back later. So let's uh let's get started i'm gonna run this on a time lapse
Here we go. Using the three and a half ton Michelin floor jack. Look at there. Oh yeah. Ginger, what is it doing? Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this has been the bane of my existence <laughs> for years. Ah, listen to that. See that victory. What's going on, man? Fluid. Yeah. Got to let it down, get a new grip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, red or just hit the button again.
Okay, so um, there's the gigantic hole it left behind. I'm gonna get some topsoil and fill that in. And then the reason that I was, um, this thing I'm estimating weighs probably about 300 pounds, maybe 350. And I'm trying to get a lot of the mud off of it for two reasons. Number one, it'll make it easier to move. And number two, uh, I need to cut this up in probably about four or five pieces and uh, if I leave the dirt in there, it will ruin the chainsaw blade when I cut it up. So, but this thing is uh, it's just massive. And this is a white crepe myrtle stump. So, anyway, I'll uh, I'll let you guys see the uh, final result after I get everything done, and you probably don't want to see any more time lapse of this. But anyway, looks a lot better clean this up and we'll be good to go all right I wanted to show you guys real quick it's starting to rain but I went ahead and put that's almost half a cubic yard of topsoil and now we're just gonna get the grass to grow